These are five unsolved cases with surveillance footages that have captured the very last moments of a lady that just vanished in the night with no clues, no evidence, to a man that was found dead. But mysteriously, even to this day, no one even knows who that man is. Let's begin. Number 1 Claudia Lawrence was just 35 years old when she suddenly disappeared on 18th of March 2009. She was last seen coming back from work. She worked as a chef at the University of York's Goodrick College on the afternoon that she disappeared. This was the footage that the police made public. The man is of importance to the disappearance of Claudia Lawrence because the certain path he took leads to the back of Claudia Lawrence's house on the evening that she went missing. The man went out of view, but only one minute and eight seconds later, the man heads back Hewith Road and suspiciously just stops when he sees someone else walking past, only to carry on walking when the man has walked past. It's very odd behaviour. Personally, I believe it's possible that he's reaching for his phone in his pocket and that's why he stopped. It could have just been a coincidence that an unknown man was opposite him at that certain time. What do you believe? What we do know for certain is that Claudia has been missing for over seven years and her disappearance is still unsolved to this day. A 60 year old man was arrested in connection to her disappearance and for suspected murder but charges were later dropped. Number 2 The Peter Bergman case is just shrouded in mystery. A man with a very heavy German accent checked into the Sligo City Hotel using the name of Peter Bergman where he stayed for the majority of his three day visit in Sligo in Ireland. On the morning of 16th of June 2009 his naked body was found on the beach. Now this is where the actual mystery begins. When the police investigated the case, they found that Peter Bergman's name was false. It was an alias. No one knows the true identity of Peter Bergman or why he used an alias. No one knows where he comes from, his date of birth, nothing. All his possessions and clothing at his hotel were also missing. Here he is on surveillance footage at the hotel. Every day for his visit at the hotel, he would be seen leaving the hotel with a plastic purple bag and came back each time empty handed, possibly to get rid of all of his possessions and clothing. He was described as a man that didn't talk much. An autopsy showed that he had prostate cancer and would have been in a lot of pain without medication. It's likely that Peter Bergman went to Sligo to die and didn't want to be identified. But the cause of death is still regarded as unknown and the whole lead up to his death is still regarded as a mystery. Number 3 Jane Rymer, a 23 year old female from Australia, was enjoying a night out partying with her friends in the Claremont suburbs of Perth. At around midnight, Jane decided to go home as her friends left in a taxi. This was the last time they ever saw her alive. This is the surveillance footage captured of Jane Rymer outside the Continental Hotel and what appears to be a man talking to her. The surveillance video then suddenly switches to a different part of the hotel. When the surveillance video returns a few minutes later, Jane and the man are gone. Jane's body was found on August 1996. The police believe that Rymer's murder could be connected to the murders of Sarah Spires who was also murdered after leaving a nightclub in Claremont, as well as Kyra Glennon, who also went missing in the Claremont area. The police believe they are searching for a serial killer. The identity of the man in the surveillance video is still unknown, and the identity of the possible serial killer 20 years later is also still unknown. Number 4 Seven years ago, the Jameson family that consisted of Bobby, Sherilyn and their young daughter Madison mysteriously disappeared on October the 8th, 2009. It's believed that the Jameson family travelled to the isolated mountains where they were looking to buy a 40 acre plot of land near Red Oak in Oklahoma, about 30 miles away from where they currently lived. Eight days after they went missing, their truck was found abandoned. Inside their pickup truck was their phones, car keys, 
GPS and $32,000 in cash. They even left behind Madison's beloved dog Macy, who was found inside the vehicle on the edge of starvation. This is the last ever known footage of them alive, as they were seen loading up their truck by the surveillance camera. Investigators say that Bobby and Sherilyn looked like they were in a trance-like state, where they kept repeatedly going to their house and back to their truck over 20 times without even speaking to each other. Four years later, their skeletal remains were found next to each other, all laying face down. No one knows though how the Jameson family died. Some believe they were murdered. Some believe that the mother who was suffering from deep depression following her sister's death murdered her family and then committed suicide. Another theory is that they got lost and died of hypothermia. Their pastor added to the mystery when he gave a shocking statement saying that the family were at spiritual war and that they had seen spirits inside their home. Bobby allegedly asked the pastor if there were any special bullets that his family could buy so they could kill the spirits. A satanic bible was found in their house after their disappearance. There were also bizarre messages. Whatever happened seven years ago is still a mystery to this day. Number 5 a 30-year-old Air Force veteran and hospice nurse was supposed to pick up a two-year-old daughter in the morning of April 27, 2016 from her ex-husband, but she never showed up. The police have released a picture taken from the surveillance footage of her last known whereabouts, but no clues and evidence as of yet explains Tricia Todd's disappearance. The ex-husband voluntarily agreed to a polygraph test, which indicated they had no part in Todd's disappearance. It's believed Todd has been abducted, but no screams were heard, and there's no physical evidence with their home and cars that show any trouble ever took place. What is worrying is forensically, there's nothing. It's like she just vanished. Let's hope that Tricia Todd and every other person that is missing is found safe and well. Please give this video a like.